Hi, this is Damon from Orion Coolers. We're three days from Tennessee's opener, and I'm super stoked because I'm gonna start the season with a kayak hunt. So going in by kayak, hunting, hopefully coming out with game in the kayak. So really unique style and time to choose my footwear. Lots of options out there when it comes to hunting footwear. So how do you choose? Think about where and how and the stall of your hunting. And in this case, I'm gonna be hunting whitetail, early season, around water. No better options out there than a good pair of rubber boots. These are the Rutmaster 2.0 lights from Iris Setter. And they're great, obviously, because rubber boots are the best thing going for scent control. When you're getting out of a whitetail woods, their nose is their biggest way of finding you. So anytime you can keep your scent profile down and not have them smell you is great. The other positive of how we're hunting in this case to start the season is water. Water doesn't carry scent very well. So anytime you can walk through a creek, walk through a swamp, use the marsh, whatever it is to get in and out of your hunting area, it's a plus. So rubber boots obviously let you walk where other boots can't. You can go in pretty deep in the water and you can keep your scent out of it. Obviously kayaks, lakes involved, there's gonna be water around. So rubber boots are then great in the water. And then last, it's early, it's Tennessee, that means there's bugs, especially ticks and chiggers. I don't like the itch, I don't know about you, I can't stand it. So rubber boots are great, you can keep your pants tucked in, most of the brush is below the line. I'll then back it up and treat them with some permethrin spray from Sawyer, so anything crawling on those boots dies. So there you go, you got sink control, water, and bug control. So whenever it comes to your next hunt, think about the style of hunting you're gonna do, think about all of the challenges, and then match the footwear to your style of hunting. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe and comment below.